Hi everyone, this is Cindy Krause, the Tai Chi instructor from the Pineland Branch of the YMCA of Southern Maine. Today I'm going to share with you some Sun Style Tai Chi movements. Sun Style is the most common form of Tai Chi practiced throughout the world today. It helps with balance, flexibility, strengthening, general overall being, and helping balance our anxiety as well and helps with sleep. So today we're going to start first with some quick warm-ups before we start the exercise. We're going to roll shoulders forward gently six times, backward gently six times, open close hands six times, rotating six times and stretching shoulder across and then opposite and then last we're going to go ahead and stretch putting a little bit of mild pressure on our elbow, pushing down if okay to do so. And then opposite side. With Sun Style movements, we're going to incorporate Qigong movements into the Sun Style. So we're going to practice with feet shoulder width apart bodies will be relaxed, joints, hips, knees relaxed. So let's go ahead and start with the first movement. First movement with shoulder <clears throat> relaxed, feet apart. We're going to find our center. Breathing in, rising up, exhaling softly center. We shift right, creating a U-shape, then lift our left foot, step, heel, toe, presenting ball forward, stepping right, followed by open, rising up, and close, compressing down. So let's go ahead and follow along together, breathing in and begin. Next movement, we're going to start from open and close. Our left toe will turn in slightly, our body starts to turn and rotate. We lift our right foot, stepping forward, then moving ball forward. Hands drop slightly. We open our hands, creating a triangle, then go into single whip or open window by stretching, opening our hands, panning eyes across to the left, followed by return. Right hand ends around elbow and right toe will touch. So let's do that again from open and close. Opening and closing. Shifting body left, turning slowly. Lift, step, presenting ball right. Opening hands, then open window. Eyes follow across to left, followed by return and toe will touch. Next movement is called waving hands. Waving hands is based upon a martial arts fight move, but we do it in a more fluid, gentle manner. From return, we step right foot out first, then changing hands, 
we wave and shift to the right, followed by step left, changing hands and wave and shift left. Step right, change hands and wave right. Step left, change hands. Now coming back to center, followed by open and close. Let's repeat that again together. From return, stepping out, changing hands and wave and shift. Step in, change hands and wave and shift. Step out and wave. Step in and wave. One last time. Returning now to center. Now that we've come back to center, it signifies a change in direction. We're going to start working toward our left now. So, to demonstrate, from open and close, now our right turn, toe turns in, our body starts to turn. We lift and step and present ball forward. Followed by creating a triangle, opening our hands, then open window slowly. Eyes now pan across to the right. Followed by return. Fingertips end around elbow, left toe will tap. So let's repeat that together again. From open and close. Starting to rotate slowly. Step, present ball, open hands, open window slowly, and return. Now we're going to go into moving hands to our right. From return, we step out first to the left, changing hands and waving left. Step right, change hands and waving right. Step left, change hands and wave left. Step right and wave right. One last time. Now returning to center, followed by open, rising up, and compress. Now that we've come back to open and close again, this signifies a change in direction again. This time, we're going to go into transition sky right to work left. From open and close, we transition sky, rotating slowly. We lift step right with right hand, rotating across knee toward back of hip. So let me show you that again. From open and close, Rotating to sky left, brushed knee slowly across back to hip. And one more time, there's a lot of moving pieces here. Open and close, turning our toe in, turning our body in, shifting to sky, brushing knee, step and plant. Next movement, we're going to step with left toe, tapping wall gently, then rocking back on both heels. Next movement is called lute position. We rise up our right hand, left hand, draws back toward elbow as if we're playing the strings on a harp. So let's put that together again. 
from transition sky left. Open and close sky left into brushed knee slowly. Tap, rock back onto both heels into lute position. From here, the next movement is called parry and dodge. We step first with right foot, right thumb rotates in, and we slide with our left hand underneath. Stepping left, we rotate left thumb in, right hand slides underneath. Let's do that again from open and close, sky left, into brushed knee, tapping wall, rocking back into lute. Then step right, right thumb in, step left, left thumb in. Next position is bow and arrow. We're going to step back right, drawing the bow back with our right arm. Left hand stays up to protect. Then stepping forward right, we punch over with our right hand. So let's put that together again. Back from open and close to sky into brushed knee tapping wall rocking back into lute into parry and dodge draw back bow and arrow step forward and punch Next movement is called Moving Mountain. We step back on our right foot, smoothing our hands back, referred to as smoothing tablecloth or moving mountain back. Then we step forward right, pushing, feeling a slight resistance, moving mountain forward. Let's put that together from Open and close and begin. Into brushed knee slowly, tapping wall, rocking back into lute position. Parry and dodge. Draw back bow and arrow. Step forward and punch. Moving mountain back. Moving mountain forward, followed by pivot to first position. Now pivoting can be done either on our heels or by shuffling across, whichever is most comfortable to do. Followed by open and close. So once we get to open and close, it signifies a change again. So from open and close, this time we're transitioning to sky right, followed by brush knee, where we lift, step, start to rotate slowly. Our hand brushes across knee to left side of hip. Following through now, with right hand, tap toe and tap wall. Let's repeat that together again. From open and close. Transition sky into brush knee slowly. Tapping wall, tapping toe. Next, we're going into lute position. Drawing the strings back, we bring left hand up. So let's put that together one more time. From open and close, transition sky right into brushed knee slowly, 
tapping wall, tapping toe, drawing back, rocking back into lute position. From here we start parry and dodge. Stepping first left now, since we're moving left, left thumb in and slide. Step right, right thumb in and slide. Now draw bow and arrow back to left hip. Step forward slowly and punch. Let's repeat together from open and close. Open, rising up, close, compressing down. Rotating to sky, into brush knee slowly. Tapping wall, draw back into lute position. Step left and parry and dodge. Step right, parry and dodge. Rock back onto left heel, draw back left arm. Step forward and punch. From here, the next movement is called moving mountain. We're going to move mountain back or smooth the tablecloth. Step forward, left, push and move mountain forward. Followed by pivot and open, rising up, close, compressing down, and final presentation. Now let's go ahead and go back to the very beginning to position one. We're going to work through all the movements together slowly. I'll give pointers along the way. Beginning from position one, rising up, Sinking softly centered, shift right, step left, present ball, step right, open and close, shift left, turning slowly, lift and step, presenting ball, open hands or single whip, followed by return. Waving hands right, step and wave right. Step and wave right. Returning to center, followed by open and close. Shifting, turning, stepping left, presenting ball left. Open hands, open window or single whip, and return. Stepping left, changing hands and waving left. One last turn left, coming back to center, followed by open and close. Next, transition sky left into brush knee, tapping wall, draw back into loot position, parry and dodge. Into bow and arrow, and punch, move mountain back, move mountain forward, pivot to first, open and close, rotate sky right, into brush knee, tap wall, draw back into loot position, parry and dodge, Bow and arrow, punch, smooth mountain back, smooth mountain forward, open and close, 
final presentation. We're going to do this one last time in total silence. Following along and begin. Thank you for doing the Sun style Tai Chi exercises with me today. Enjoy practicing at home. Take care. <laughs>